How to Examine the Knee by Martin Goddard, Consultant Orthopaedic Surgeon at St George's Hospital. Before starting the examination, always wash your hands, introduce yourself to the patient, obtain their consent and ask them if they are in any pain. The basic principles of any orthopaedic examination are look, feel, move and then special tests. While looking, compare both legs and look for asymmetry, deformity, previous scars, muscle wasting and erythema. Feel for deformity, tenderness, swelling and temperature. Compare the active and passive range of movements with the contralateral normal leg and also assess whether movement is painful. Special tests are done at the end of the examination and are based on the presumptive diagnosis. For knee examination, these include the knee ligament tests. The patient is asked to walk backwards and forwards until the examiner says stop, observing their gait pattern, looking for an antalgic gait or a limp. Next, the patient is inspected in the standing position. An examination is performed looking at the front, from the side and from the back, looking for evidence of old scars, swellings or muscle wasting. With the patient on the bed, the skin temperature is felt comparing the two knees to look for signs of infection or inflammatory arthropathy. Next, an effusion is looked for by milking the fluid from one side of the knee to the other and observing the knee swelling as the fluid is moved around. The patient is asked to move the knee through a full range of movement to assess active movement. The examiner then performs passive range of movement, noting the full extension and full flexion achieved. Next, the joint lines are palpated, looking for evidence of meniscal pathology. The patella tendon is felt for evidence of tendinopathy, and the lateral side of the knee is felt around the fibular head. The quadriceps tendon is palpated above the knee for evidence of quadriceps tendonitis. Ligament testing begins with both knees flexed to 90 degrees and posterior sag is looked for using a pen placed on the tibial tuberosity for signs of a posterior cruciate ligament injury. The collateral ligaments are assessed with the knee in 30 degrees of flexion with a valgus strain testing the MCL and a varus strain testing the LCL. The anterior cruciate ligament is assessed with the knee bent to 90 degrees, the hamstrings are relaxed and the tibia is pulled forwards relative to the femur. A more sensitive test and specific test for the ACL is the Lachman test. This is done with the knee at 30 degrees of flexion one hand steadies the femur and the other hand pulls the tibia forwards. With the patient supine, the skin temperature is assessed comparing both knees. 
warmth is looked for that might either suggest infection or an inflammatory arthropathy. With the patient supine on the bed, an assessment for an effusion is done. The first test is to move the fluid using the back of your hand around the knee, observing for the knee swelling on the contralateral side as the fluid is moved. The next test is the patella tap test, where one hand stabilises the patella and the other test pushes down on the patella. If there is a large effusion, the belotment can be felt as the patella pushes on the fluid beneath it. The patient's active range of movement is assessed by asking him to bend his knee as far as he can. The passive range of movement is assessed by the examiner, noting the degree of extension and the degree of full flexion. With the knee at 90 degrees of flexion, palpation is performed. Whilst looking at the patient for signs of pain, the lateral joint line is assessed and the medial joint line assessed for tenderness that may indicate meniscal pathology. The patella tendon is palpated for evidence of patella tendonitis or fat pad impingement syndrome. The fibular head is palpated for pain on the lateral side of the knee. With the leg in full extension, the quadriceps tendon is palpated for signs of quadriceps tendonitis. Assessment of the knee ligaments begins with both knees flexed to 90 degrees. A pen is placed on the tibial tuberosity to assess for posterior sag that may indicate a PCL injury. The collateral ligaments are assessed with the knee in 30 degrees of knee flexion. A valgus strain is applied to test the medial collateral ligament and a varus stress is applied to test the lateral collateral ligament. The anterior cruciate ligament is assessed with the knee bent to 90 degrees and the anterior draw is performed where the tibia is pulled forwards from the femur. The Lachman test is more sensitive and specific and is performed with the knee in 30 degrees of flexion. One hand holds the femur steady and the other hand pulls the tibia forwards. At the end of the examination, thank the patient and examine the hip and ankle joint. Always check the neurovascular status and look at any relevant imaging.